I'm back. Um, I said I'm going to post more. So this is me posting more. If I look tired, it's because I am tired. It's as simple as that. But I really wanted to post this now so that like it's fresh. And this isn't going to be like that 20 minute first post, obviously. And this is actually not what I would call an official like YouTube like post. I'm going to probably like add it to my larger posts that I plan on doing once I have finished my leaving South Africa like tour and bucket list of all things I'm doing. So what I'm about to say is what I did today and slash yesterday and obviously it's a geeky moment and you can't relate if you're not in the profession but even if you're not I just wanted to share like this big moment and you know like my career obviously it's not like a huge moment in my like career but i actually just got back from the airport used the how train you know city girl but i used the how train from the airport to my car to drive home um because city girls must be safe too if they can um but yeah i just got back from the airport from my first hearing in the supreme court of appeal guys the sca in bloemfontein by the way i am from bloemfontein it was just outstanding and i know that sounds like geeky but like you guys see sca matters being heard you see it when they're televised and it's like drama and it's beautiful and obviously for us that like go to court often you know we used to go way more often when we were more junior to like the high court in like Joburg cbd it's it's beautiful in its own way but the chaos and everything and it's just different and so few people have actually had a matter go to the sca and like it's like a it's a big deal you know so obviously you don't want your case to go to the SCA. fortunately we were not the appellants in this matter and we obviously won um in the quarter quo so um but yeah it was obviously i wasn't trying to fangirl i was there as a professional and doing my job but obviously it being my first time and like seeing it, I'm from Bloemfontein, we've seen the SEA, we pass it, but like actually now being a practicing attorney and going into court for a hearing you know about and you care about, it was just... And this was my first time at the SEA and obviously this is actually probably my last hearing while working in South Africa. So I was just like, and this matter was like my baby. It has been my like baby, sorry, for um, basically four years, but let me say three years now. And it like, yo, this matter is like, I've dreamt about this matter. Like in first year as well, it was just, it was all I was doing. It's, it's huge. And obviously for me to be able to go to like the SEA to see it, the court itself okay i'm i'm gonna stick uh, i'm gonna cap it at five i swear and then i'm also gonna post some boomies and some moments i ran into my friend you still i still consider you a friend but my friend brandon hartel who works in bloom and the sca is like his home so obviously when i'm fangirling he's like this is my office basically yes completely but you don't understand obviously the magnitude of how beautiful so the SCA first of all beautiful like so well maintained also parking I went with my mom I loved it um she drove me there met the team there um but no it was amazing the parking is like i know it seems silly but obviously when you're used to the high court in Joburg at cbd parking your car and that walk from if you find parking and it's just scary i'm lying to you it's going to be six minutes i promise um but yeah the court itself is beautiful like the structure and obviously they've like maintained it very well and it's bloemfontein it's not 
chaotic around it either so it it's just beautiful it's beautiful and then in the court obviously like most courtrooms are similar but it's it's beautiful to me it's beautiful because it's like it's the sca it's the sca supreme court of appeal anyway um and then just the judges in our matter obviously like all judges guys people that aren't in um litigation you know and people that aren't in law like they don't actually know this because you don't go to hearings and you don't like see this kind of thing but judges are brilliant and go getting to go to a hearing is it was always my favorite part of being a litigator because obviously there's a lot of hard work and groundwork that goes in for months and sometimes years and sometimes decades before you get to the hearing and my favorite part is the hearing so it's 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 tough so finally getting to go to the hearing and like hearings are the best because judges are so funny judges are so smart it's crazy they're so funny they're so smart hearing the advocates you know argue it's just it's the best tv show you've ever watched and if anyone knows me i love tv and this is like unscripted you have no idea what's going to go on it's all just educated people th like throwing hands it's brilliant it is just it was amazing the judges were brilliant i loved every question they threw i was just like yes and you yes and obviously i'm for my side and i'm like no yes it was amazing so no, I'm not going to tell you what the matter is, obviously. And no, we didn't get the judgment, but um, not, not yet. But yeah, it was just a great experience. I loved it. My mom got to actually sit in the gallery. She got to like watch the hearing as well. Watch, you know, the attorneys when we pass notes to each other and talk to each other, like because, you know, the, the matter is happening and stuff. It's all part of the experience. It's so nice. So it was nice for her to come. She enjoyed it. It was like live TV because our parents love watching hearings and court i don't like watching it in the news i don't i watch netflix because that's my job i won't watch it on tv for fun but it was amazing and then so yeah we flew there yesterday and i flew back today and i'm going back to work tomorrow but yeah this is really the countdown to the last few days in my office Kind of sad kind of stressed i have to do a lot i have to sell a lot anyway i'm gonna end this with if anyone is looking for a really nice tv my tv if you've seen it on my instagram you know it's brilliant it's a high sense smart tv if you're looking to buy it i am selling it for about 7.5 it's beautiful so maybe i'll negotiate but not very hard um but yeah we are moving. I'm excited. I'm very excited that I could do this before I leave South Africa and practicing law in South Africa. It was so few lawyers get to go to the SCA. I'm blessed. So yes, that is a part of my bucket list personally, but I'm going to do a compilation much shorter. Obviously, I'm not going to dedicate all this time to in that video to the SCA, but yeah. In my compilation of ticks in South Africa before I go. This is a big one. It's a big one. But obviously, we hope judgment is in our favor. Okay, I'm gonna go to sleep now. <laughs> it's about 10 o'clock, and I'm actually recovering from a cold. Not COVID, a cold.